be found in the house of the Lord again and we are grateful this morning and I'm grateful to the Lord I thank God for so many of you so many of you here this morning God is still in the miracle working business he will take care of you praise the Lord yesterday uh, I got up that, mo this, that morning I was sitting on the bed I was just praying and my phone rang, and it was my son. And uh, I'm, I'm still uh, half praying, half sleeping. And he said, Daddy, he said, I'm in the ditch. He said, you're the closest one. He said, come get me. And, uh, and we went to, got ready to get him, and minister got in the car to go get him. And uh, he, he called back and said he's going to make it uh, some kind of way on his own. He got his tie fixed and got his got in his car and came back by the house but when he sat down and started to tell us what really happened I couldn't do nothing but praise God he didn't tell me that he lost control of his car and the car spun around and went into the ditch and was in the water he didn't tell me that you know and and he got, he told my wife, he said, I'm a, I, I, I didn't send you the pictures. And she said, I don't want to see the picture. I said, I don't want to see them either. But it goes to show you that God will take care. Amen, somebody. God is going to take care. Amen. God is going to take care of you. Amen. Whoever you are, whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through. The word of the word the Lord gave me that I will visit you again. I will visit you again. If somebody been hurt and destroyed or been destroyed, you can use those words. Use those words. I will visit you again. Amen. Where I get that from, he told, he told Sarah, he said, I'm coming back again. He said, when I come back, you will be with a son in your lap. In the in book of words, Luke, chapter 22, verse 14 to 20. I don't remember preaching on, I may have preached on this before. So y'all pray for me as I preach on this thing uh, for a little while. Amen. Luke 22 and 14. We're going to ask you again. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, there is something about that name. I'm going to say that one more time. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. There is something yes, about that name. Mm -hmm. Master, Savior, Jesus. There is something about that name master savior jesus let all heaven and earth proclaim King Shall all pass 
pass away but there's something about that name hallelujah Jesus 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 I love to call his name y'all Jesus 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 whenever we're in trouble you gotta call on his name there is something about that name I don't know about you but I always call him master savior Jesus there is something something gotta happen in your life when you call on his name there is something there is something about that name amen amen thank you minister hallelujah Thank you, thank you, Jesus. Lord have mercy. There's just something precious about the name of Jesus. Someone said there is power in the name of Jesus. Somebody else can testify that there is protection in the name of Jesus. Anybody been covered by the blood? Have you truly experienced the covering of the blood? Someone else said there is providence, which means God will provide. Hallelujah. Food on my table, clothes on my back. Come on, y'all. Blood running warm in my body. So there is providing, there is providence in the name of Jesus. What a name. What a name. Hallelujah. Glory to his name. 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 Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Luke chapter 22, verse 14, if you got it, say amen. And the scripture says this, and, and when the hour was come, he sat down and the 12 apostles with him. And he said unto them, with desire I have desire to eat this Passover with you before I suffer. For, there, for, for I say unto you, I, I, I will not anymore eat thereof until it be fulfilled in the kingdom of God. So he took the cup and he gave thanks and said, take this and divide it among yourselves. For I say unto you, I will not drink of the fruit of the vine until the kingdom of God shall come. And then he took bread, and he gave thanks. And he broke it and gave it to them, saying, This is my body, which is given for you. Do this in remembrance of me. And likewise, also the cup after the supper, hmm? saying this cup is the New Testament in my blood, which is shed for you. Amen. I want to speak to you on this subject, remembering Jesus. Remembering Jesus. I forget his name. He sings the song at Israelites. He used to sing that song when others forget Jesus remembers. Amen. Y'all know that song? Uh, and when others forget, yes, 
it, yes, Pearly, yes, Brother Pearly used to sing that song, When Others Forget, Jesus Remember. But this morning, the Lord is asking us to remember him. He says, Sister James, as often as you do this, you do so in remembrance of me. Amen. Now, Jesus had in, in our uh, text, there's, uh, 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 we, we, it reminds us uh, of how we can remember things. And when I mention Israelite, I, re I remember the Lord's Supper. And it is called the Lord's Supper because we served it at night. Amen? Because that's when Jesus served the Lord's Supper. Times have changed. Times have changed so much that this was a service that nobody would miss. This was a service where nobody would miss. As a matter of fact, Bishop uh, 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 Brister calls it a family reunion service. Because if you didn't see somebody on, 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 on uh, second, third, fourth, fourth, fifth Sunday, you saw them on first Sunday because it was communion Sunday. Uh, 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 and, and, and you remember uh, that everybody wore black and white. Amen. The deacon board was full. The deaconess board was full. The choir was up there full. Even them that missed rehearsal and wouldn't come uh, the rest of the month, they would show up to sing on communion Sunday. Amen, somebody? Uh, uh, all the ushers were there. Come on, y'all. Uh, I, I remember that we, we had two usher bows, and everybody was there. Law Street had two usher bows, and everybody, even the junior usher board was there. Even the junior choir was full. Amen? Amen? Even, come on, junior, let me preach now, son. Uh, even even the, the junior choir was full, and the junior choir had one song to sing. Amen. Y'all remember that, y'all? You know, and, 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 and Communion Sunday, we even call it the sacrament. Amen. Some people call it the sacrament. And you could not take communion without your head being covered, women folks. That was just a tradition that we had in our churches. And, and these ushers, the hallelujahs, and not just the ushers, the deaconess also, they would tiptoe by you and stick something on your head before you could take communion. Another thing about communion, that you would not take communion, hallelujah somebody, if you have been out on Saturday night. Amen. You may come to church, but you wouldn't take communion. The preacher knew everybody who went out on Saturday night. Amen, somebody? Because it was too important to us. It was too sacred to us for us to defile the communion service. So, 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 so we, 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 we would prepare our hearts and prepare our minds in order to take communion. Amen, somebody? Listen to what the Apostle Paul said. First of all, before you take communion, Apostle Paul said, examine yourself. Amen, somebody? Some, uh, one preacher put it this way. He said, take a look at yourself. He said, take a backwards look, amen, take a forward look, and then take a look inside, amen, somebody? Look back and see where you have come from, amen, somebody? Look back, ain't nothing wrong with looking and see where the Lord has brought you from. My late pastor used to say, you can look back, just don't go back. Amen, somebody? But you ought to look back and see where the Lord has brought you from. You ought to look back at times and see how good God has been to you. When I think about the goodness of the Lord and all that he done for me, that's a time when I feel like shouting. Amen? Let me tell you something. We don't have to wait until the praise leader lifts us up. And we don't have to wait until the organ lifts us up. We, we don't have to wait until the song leader lifts us up. But when we think about, hallelujah, the goodness of the Lord, that, that's why I love that song, Gratefulness. When that lady come on, she said, I could have been dead, sleeping in my grave, but God gave me another day. 
Hey, Amen. Somebody, when I take that look back, somebody help me here. When I think that look back, help me, y'all. I could have been dead. Help me, somebody. Another song leader, come on, Dad. He said, it sh could have been me. It should have been me, but it was not me. So I'm going to be grateful to God. So when I take that look back, help me, somebody. I just believe that if you are grateful to the Lord, that it will save your life. It'll save your soul. When you think about, come on, y'all. When you start thinking about how good God been to you, yeah. hallelujah, somebody. Not only, not only will you shout, but you're going to want to change your life. And not only should you look, look back, take a look forward. How I'm going to make it in the future. What's going to happen to me in the future? But you know what? I'm not worried about what the future holds to, from, for me. All I know is that the Lord holds my future. Did y'all catch that? Don't worry about the, what the future holds. Just know for a fact that the Lord got your future. God got your back. Hallelujah, somebody. That's why I say God, that's why the Spirit of God told me, I'm going to visit you again. Help me, somebody. God is going to make it right. Mm -hmm. Somebody help me here. God going to make it right. He's going to fix that thing. He's going to do that thing. And if you believe that, then you can look to your future with joy in your heart. The third look is to look on the inside. Amen, somebody? Paul said, examine yourself before you take that communion. Paul said, I'm worried about some of y'all. He said, he said, first of all, y'all come into church and you divide it. Amen? He said, there's some division among you. Said, how can you take the communion of him, the, the, the Savior, who preaches oneness when we are divided? Paul said, I'm worried about this. Paul said, I'm worried about some of you. Some of you, you haven't eaten yet, so you're coming hungry. Amen? And then you come in to get drunk. Amen, somebody? Get drunk. I used to, Lord, if y'all forgive me, I'm not talking about those people, uh, 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 how, the, how, the, how, the, how the priest do communion. I mean, uh, he gave you the cracker, he drank the wine. I said, God, man, I'd be stone drunk before it's over with. Because I'm not, I'm not much of a drinker, amen. After the second cup, I'll be drunk, amen. Praise the Lord. Somebody had to come take my place to serve communion. But the fact is that Paul says some of y'all come in drunk. He's not just talking about, he's not talking about alcohol, but we come drunk with the wrong kind of spirit. Yeah, amen. Y'all didn't want to hear that. Y'all missed that. It went right by your head. Amen, somebody? But listen what Jesus was doing, and then I'm going to close the book. What Jesus was doing, I, and I noticed that I've been studying this thing, but I, I noticed something, how he started off. First of all, he said, the hour have come. What hour was it? It was the hour of the Passover. The Jews were observing the Passover. Amen, somebody? And, and, and Jesus says, look, I desire, hallelujah, that I have a desire to, 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 to participate in the Passover. Didn't he not say, I have a desire to eat the Passover. I want to eat the Passover with y'all. Amen? He said, now, so, so what he did next, he said, I, 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 because I'm not going to eat it with you no more. Because this is my last Passover. Amen? Why is your last Passover, Jesus? Simply because I am the Passover. He said, this is the last one because I am going to be, I will be the Passover. Why your last Passover? Because I will be sacrificed on the cross. I'm the lamb. I'm the lamb. I'm the bread. I'm the, I'm, 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 I'm the blood. I'm the wine. That's me. So, so what does he do? The Bible says he took the cup and he gave thanks and he says, take this and divide it among yourself. Amen, somebody. Wait a minute, wait a minute preacher. Now, 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 he's doing the Jewish Passover. One thing about Jesus, Jesus, oh, man, we see a lot of things traditional in the church. We need to stop doing it. But Jesus never stopped doing what was traditional in the Jewish church. He participated in the Passover. Somebody going to help me here? When he came to town, he went to the synagogue. Somebody help me? He went to the synagogue on a Friday. Come on, y'all. We worship on a Sunday, but Jesus went to the synagogue on a Friday. And the Bible says that he went in and he started to teach the word of God. Somebody going to help me here? Amen. They're calling all, y'all doing all that traditional stuff. Don't worry about that. It's certain traditions you need to get rid of, but it's a lot of them you need to keep. 
Uh -huh. Because it is a teaching tool. It is a tool of direction. It is a way of showing you how God wants us to worship. Amen, somebody? And let me tell you something. I'm going to say it again. God took us all out of the church, all over the world, because he wants us to come back and do church differently. How will I do church differently? He said, I want you to come into church and have, have not only have the church in your heart, but have the church at heart. Not only do I want you to have the spirit in your heart, but I want you to live by the spirit. God is, God got tired of us coming in here with that false religion, with that false spirit, with that false worship. He said, I've been telling you for years that you ought to worship in truth and in spirit, and you still didn't do it, so get out of the church. All of y'all, even the preacher, get out of here because you're not doing what I want you to do. So I'm going to give you another chance to do it right. Lost Street, we need to do it right because we got another chance to do it right. Lord, I'm preaching too long. He, he, he said, I, 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 I'm not going to do it. I'm not going to do it until the kingdom of God will come. And then I just noticed something. Did he not? He just passed them something, but he took the bread. Hallelujah, somebody. And he gave thanks and break it and gave it to them. I'm going to say this, I'm going. Okay, he said this, I'm going. The first time he got the wine, got the juice, and the wine and the juice and the bread. He said, pass it among yourselves. The second time, he gave thanks, he broke it, and he passed it out. Y'all missed that? You missed that? Okay, let me come back again. The first time, they passed it among themselves. The second time, he passed it out. So what, what you're saying, he did the Passover, help me y'all, and then now he said, I'm going to institute a new covenant for you. I'm going to do a new thing among you. You're going to have a new covenant, a new communion with you. So this is what I'm going to do. I'm going to give thanks. I'm going to break it, and then I'm going to pass it out. And the Bible said he took the cup. Did he not take the cup before? But he took the cup again because now he's doing the communion service. Amen, somebody? He said, I'm going to do a new thing. Hallelujah, somebody. Ain't we all right up in here? We're going to do a new thing. Somebody help me here. Amen, somebody. Oh, you know, we start. We start with the way we're doing the singing and the praying and the, and, and the worship up in here. It's a new thing. <laughs> Why? Because God going to institute a new thing. <laughs> somebody help me here. Pandemic come and wipe it out. <laughs> Pandemic came and wash it out. <laughs> Pandemic came and push it out. <laughs> Pandemic came and closed the doors. <laughs> Pandemic came and shut the organ off. <laughs> Pandemic came and turned the light off. Pandemic came and turned the air condition off. But the Lord came back and said, I got a new thing. Ain't God all right? I got a new thing. Somebody go help me here. He said, I want you to worship. Ain't God all right? In truth and in spirit. Ain't the Lord worthy to be praised? Hallelujah. He said, when you come in here and say, I'm going to praise the Lord anyhow. So when trouble come your way, praise God anyhow because he's truly worthy to be praised. If you got to cry, praise the Lord. If you laugh, praise the Lord. If you're hungry, praise the Lord. If you're broke, praise the Lord. If you got food on your table, say thank you, Lord. If you got clothes on your back, thank you, Lord. If you can't pay your bills, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Why, Pastor? Because, Lord, grandmother say he's a way maker. He'll make a way out of no way. Hallelujah. He'll mend your broken heart. He'll dry your tears away. Ain't God all right? Say yeah. I said, say yeah. Hallelujah. He said, I can't do it no more. Why, Jesus? Because I got to go to the cross. Hallelujah. 
they're going to stretch me up, Lord. They're going to raise me high and stretch me wide. Ain't God all right? I'm going to die. Didn't he die? But early, I say early, I say early, Sunday morning, he got up with all power, power. I got to close. Well, one thing else I used to remember about communion service, when we got to the end of the service, nobody was sitting down. Either you were standing up or you were laying on the floor because we had a hallelujah time in the Lord. We got to get back to being real for the Lord. We got to get back to giving him real praise, giving him some real hallelujah, some real glory hallelujah. Praise the Lord. God bless you. God keep you. I want to thank Brother Gerald for feminists and Brother Gerald. They got, we got international partners, y'all. Y'all didn't know that, huh? We got people from Africa watching our service. To our international friends, we say to you that, that you need to turn your life over to Jesus. And if you're already saved, go find a church. Because there are churches all over the world. And God is, God is telling you, God is going to lead you and guide you. Why don't you, why don't you, why don't you repeat to yourself and say, Lord, order my step. And God is going to lead you to the place that you ought to go. And if you are in the city and you're looking for a church home, this is a good place. This is a good place for worship. This is a good place. We got some real people up in here. We got some people up in here going to testify. That's gonna, it's going to set your soul on fire. Going to make you want to run and not walk and, and not get tired. Because if you knew like we knew where the Lord has brought us from, you will shout for us up in here. Amen, amen, amen. So we bless you. We invite you to join us in-house and online. And we bless you today. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. We bless whoever listening to this broadcast, whoever is in this house. We ask that the Lord, Lord, that you would lay your hands on them right now and lift them up so high in whatever concern they have on their mind. And Lord, if any one of them, any one of them, they hear you, they hear us, need to be changed, need to change their life, change their life, Lord. Convict them, convict them, convict them right now in the name of Jesus Christ. We say amen. Let's give God a hand clap for praise. Let's get ready for our communion service. Amen. Because you can have it been led as we believe by the Spirit of God. We receive the Lord Jesus Christ as our Savior. Church. And on a profession of our faith, having been baptized in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. We do now in the presence of God. Angels in this assembly most solemnly and joyfully enter into covenant with one another as one body in Christ. Church. We engage, therefore, by the aid of the Holy Spirit, to walk together in Christian love, to strive for the advancement of this church in knowledge, holiness, and comfort. Amen. To promote his prosperity and spirituality to sustain his worship, ordinance, discipline, and doctrine. Church. To contribute cheerfully and regularly to the support of the ministry, the expense of the church, the relief of the poor, and the spread of the gospel through all nations. We also engage to maintain family and secret devotion to religiously educate our children, to seek the salvation of our kindreds and acquaintance, church to walk circumspectly in the world to be 
just in our dealing, faithful in our engagement, and exemplary in our deportment. To avoid all telling, backbiting, and excessive anger. To abstain from the sales and the use of intoxicated drinks as a beverage, and to be zealous in our efforts to advance the kingdom of our Savior. Then we further engage to watch over one another in brotherly love. To remember each other in prayer, to aid each other in sickness and in distress, to cultivate Christian sympathy in the feelings and courtesy in speech. To be slow to take offense, but always ready for reconciliation and mindful of the rules of our Savior and to secure it without delay. We moreover engage that when we remove from this place, we will, as soon as possible, unite with some other church where we can carry out the spirit of this covenant in the principle of God's word. All together, and now, and now unto, unto him, him who brought, brought again from the dead, dead our Lord Jesus, Jesus be power, and glory, and glory forever. forever. Amen. Amen. Pray. Amen. Master, thank Amen. you for what Jesus has done for us. While we looking inwardly and outwardly, Lord, let us remember the sacrifice that your son made for us. He's the Passover. He is the lamb. He is the lamb of God who died for our sin that we may have eternal life. Oh, God, we're so grateful to you. We're so grateful for this communion service. We're so grateful for each and every one of us who participate in this service. Bless them right now in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Let the church say amen. amen. As they were eating, Jesus took bread. He breaked it, he blessed it, and he gave it to them. He said, eat, for this is my body. Shall we eat? And the Bible said he took the cup of the fruit of the vine. He said, this is my blood of the New Testament, and I will not drink this again with you until in my Father's kingdom. Shall we drink? And the scripture says, and they sung a hymn and went out into the Mount of Olives. Be with you, Be with you. till we meet again. again. Till we reach that, that distant shore. shore. And we'll shed a tear no, no more. more. May he give 